Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel to another episode of Darkfire Heroes. And today it's the Gold Rush event and in this video I will explain everything you need to know about that little bonus event. And we will talk shortly about the upcoming events in April. So thank you guys for tuning in and if someone else is new here just hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate your support and thank you for the ongoing support over the past days. And Let's not wait longer, just jump into the Gold Rush event. The Gold Rush event is the followed or the following event after yesterday's event where you needed to collect gold. And today we will get additional stuff when we spend gold. So yesterday something for earning gold and today something for spending gold. There is no um, leaderboard behind so that's a single, a single player uh, event. I would call it um, every time oops every time you spend gold you advance the totalizer be sure to collect your hard earned prizes so it's the same event as energy rush or the other ones you need to spend gold there are several stages where you will receive something for and as you could see first stage I already unfortunately I, I collected some uh, or I leveled up uh, spent some gold but while leveling up as I didn't uh, thought about the video so we have spent 400 gold for leveling up our Luke I can show it to you and we will receive for the first 100 five gems and for sure we're taking them we're on the road to the first epic chest which is or not the epic legendary chest for sure which is right around the corner with 1950 only 250 left so let's collect that and we are even one step closer towards that next one is at 200 and we will get Free chest here, Leovani, Sefina, and Carmen. And as you can see, 15 gems for the next step. And that costs us 300 more gold, or we need to spend 300 further gold. And now I have a hard decision to take either to level the auto or to leave him as he is. I think for his job at the race, he is good at level 12. We should not level him to stay within level 15 okay we are right now level 14 but i need to level up luke and maybe adeline but let's go for the level up of years as he should be my um damage dealer so we will spend these 500 gold and there we go level 11 if you have any tips for my team yes i know i made some mistakes there again with uh more uh, leveling up more than one more than one damage dealer leveling up more than one um single target damage dealer um Leveling up more than one AOE damage dealer as well as leveling up more than one single target damage dealer. So we will see if that will pay off at the end or it was a bad decision. Um, as we got our call as well as uh, Yera and as well as Josse here as AOE damage dealers. But that's another, that's another thing. Um, I would make it better in the future but there will be a video following up. So let's collect our 15 gems here. The next one will be a larger chest, but that should be expedition chest with the card hanging around at the side. So that's it for the gold rush event. I can't collect more right now. We may level up some things here at spells. I'm not sure. Heal is over the top already. It's too level too much. Maybe the freezing spell, protection. I think we should level the protection spell for the elemental dungeons. Especially with Luke who is uh, taunting and then we can protect him. So we can some spend some gold here. And I want to finally get level 15. Even I need to stay then with my team. I want to get to level 15 just because of being able to get some epic gear out of these chests. Freezing spell. Yeah, freezing spell is really helpful as it increases every time with two, uh, 0 0.2 seconds. Um, golems, I will not level them up as I leveled up Mykonid, as I think the ability is really good and it's cost once, uh, one um, mana less than the golems. And I got it before I got the golems. Um, blast, Fireball, Rage, maybe Tornado. I will think about it as it now is the best time to level the things up. So we will be able to collect. This little one here, Marta, Leovani, as well as Bar. Okay. So as you can see, next stage would be 25 gems. That is amazing. 
Um, at yesterday's event with collecting gold, unfortunately I was not at the good position, but we were able to get a new hero, new gem. And as you can see there at the bottom side boosted, it's Sefina. The other one, which we didn't get yesterday, that's Varga, but we are we already got him at the last weekend's event. So that's it. But there is one additional thing I will show you now, and that's the other stages and the other rewards for the event. As you could see, we are now at the 25 uh, gem um, store or at the, the um, reward, which is the 245th um, sub stage with a total gold spend of 1000. Uh, 2500 and it increases with every level we already could see that as you can see 1100 should be spent for this the next one would cost 1600 for a spell chest after that 35 gems 45 and that is just insane we need definitely to to store up some level ups or when we will go from level 15 above with our account level in the future someday we need to do that in this day as you will receive an insane amount of free gems and there it goes with 45 for the next stage, 2 hours expedition chest after that and 55, 65 and even 75 gems on the uh, second last level. But these is not, these are not the maximum levels. Um, they will follow, get follow up by, by, by certain other levels so you will be able to spend even more gold here. That is not a cap. I don't know if there is any cap but I've heard from some guys that there will be some other um, stages as well where you will receive additional stuff so that is just crazy the amount of gems you will receive there but it's a good reward when you um, hold up the stuff that long that you have that you are able to spend that much gold so that's it for the gold rush event just a small bonus event but i think it was correct decision to do a short video about it and now let's come to another interesting thing and that's the or these are the events for the month of April um, short disclaimer this is officially communicated through the discord of Darkfire dungeons from the developers but only count the first week being a safe one you all know guys the global launch will be somewhere in April and there was the hint only the first week is safe so on Monday uh, light dungeon water dungeon on the 6th um, and there will be for sure from today, um, tomorrow till Sunday, there will be some little events as well, as well as the uh, normal dungeons. So I'm looking at the old one posted early March. So there is the energy rush on the 3rd of April and the campaign burst on Sunday, TOT. So these are two nice events which will be there. And after that, Monday will start and from the 5th to the 11th these events will take place. As you can see there, Energy Rush and Arena Bash Solo plus Clan Leaderboard. Ooh. That is nice as the season should have started there. So I will definitely participate in that event and we may stream it. And all the other events from the 12th, that's my birthday luckily, <laughs> um, are not 100% sure. They are hardly or highly depending on the global release. As this will take or the planet release is somewhere in April you all know that it's already communicated and yeah there's energy rush arena bash etc and as you can see there on the 19th they missed to um, to hide all the data it's COS part one result so what could that mean I don't know to be honest they have um, Crypted it so that you can't read it. So maybe some of you are uh, have the correct clue there to find out what's what's the correct name of it. But anyway, there will be two big events as last month in the next month as well, with the normal dungeons during the week. Sunday is the dungeon closed and some additional sense bursts and all the other events. So, as we already know, only the next week is a safe one. Hey, right in the question uh, in, in the comment section. What do you think guys when will the game globally launch i'm really hyped to see the global launch but i'm not sure when it will get released as everybody else is not a hundred percent sure so that's it for today's video well not that much information but hopefully 
uh, giving you good information if you didn't see the picture before so that you can um, prepare yourself for the upcoming events even we did not talk about all the events but um, on the next week there will be update 1.19 and there will be official event calendar and then we will talk deeper into detail which you need to how you can prepare for each of the events so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed the video i wish you all the best and stay safe guys